Yeah, what? You wanna teleport me somewhere? Well, sure. Where do you wanna go this morning? I wanna go up to the moon. <laughs> okay, hang on. I'm gonna go up to the moon for a second. All right, lock it in on your coordinates. Yeah. And lock it in coordinates, the moon. The grandmother moon. <laughs> Make sure you wipe your feet before you go to get step on Grandmother Moon. Okay, my feet are wiped. I'm in my stocking feet. <laughs> <laughs> and that's one to teleport. Make it so, number one. <laughs> nah. On the moon. Okay. Oh, uh, there it is. Boop, 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 boop. Bleep, bleep. Bleep, bleep. Bushoo. Hi, sweetie. Oh, hi, Donna Bushoo. Did you make it to the moon okay? Yep, I'm up here now. Okay, well, you you call me when you want me to pick you up, okay? Yeah, roger that. <laughs> okay, roger that. Over and out. I just want to let her know I got up here, okay? Welcome to I said, welcome to Buju Nan Buju. Neiman Wayne, G A I Han Oman Go. Welcome to Buju Nanabuju, the podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. It's a weird time, you know. You ever been like on the other side of a depression? Post Dark Night of the Soul? You know. Depressions never last forever. Life is a roller coaster. There's ups and downs and twists and turns. And we all go through it. Going up, going up, going up, and you get that nervous feeling. And then you plummet. And sometimes the ride is you know, it's fun. It's fast and exciting. And scary. But then... Some of us, most of us, sooner or later, depression comes creeping back. For some of us, he doesn't ever go away very far. I always picture depression being kind of like a, a black shadow figure who can kind of transform into this inky, black, heavy, dark, dark, dark uh, blanket that'll cover you and it weighs... I don't know, 300 pounds? You can move, but it's really heavy. And it's covering everything. And it's dark and you're blind. But even if you're not 
lucky, even if you're not smart or good or you don't even, even if you make all the wrong choices on how to get yourself out of a depression, nobody can stay in the abyss forever. It's life's a roller coaster. Eventually, you're going to crawl yourself out of that pit that you dug yourself in, or that life put you in. I think. No, no, it's not true. I've had friends who went into the pit and just never came out. I think, you know, we all know what I'm talking about. But if you're here today, you probably went into the pit and somehow, maybe somebody threw you a rope. Maybe you had parents who bailed you out they threw you a rope and they pulled you out. They paid your, your fine at the jail. They got you into treatment. And maybe somebody saved your life by loving you. You know, who knows? Or maybe you got yourself out. You fell into the big pit. You were all the way down. You were, you hit rock bottom. There's a great kiss song, rock bottom. Cause you hit rock bottom and you're there to stay. Rock bottom. Oh, you know you ought to treat me good. <laughs> but sometimes you can hit rock bottom. That's a good place to be. I mean, it's the worst place to be. But it's better than just falling and falling. They say once you hit rock bottom... Now you got a hard surface you can push off on. You're underwater. Depression is drowning. Depression's a shadow figure pushing your head underwater. Ooh. I always choke myself up with that idea. Cause that's what it feels like. You got to struggle, fight, just to breathe, just to get your head out of the water. You know, but if it gets really bad and you've, you're all the way down, there is a bottom by the way. And you can either drown or now you push off. It's quiet up here <laughs> on the moon. So then you push off and you go up and eventually you get out. The abyss is a Deep, deep, deep hole. And halfway down, it's filled with water, black water. But there's a bottom. You push off, and then your head peeks out, and you can breathe. But you're still in the pit. You still don't have any friends. You're still broke. You're still scared. You're still wounded. You're still traumatized. But your head's out of the water. Now you can breathe in the pit. All right, what am I going to do? I feel like crap. My life is crap, but I can breathe. So I'm going to start climbing out of this pit. I'm going to go on a walk. If I can run, I'm going to run. If I can't, I'm just going to walk as long as I can. I'm going to quit drinking. I'm going to quit sugar. I'm going to do some push-ups. I'm going to do some journaling. I'm going to write out my bills, just what they are. I'm going to write out checks that I can't mail off. I'm going to do my dishes. I'm going to go to the laundromat and wash all my clothes. I'm going to create order in my house. I'm going to mow the lawn. Because if you can create order inside... Or if you can create order outside, order will happen inside. 
you know, then at the end of the day, you're tired again. And now you can go to sleep because you didn't sleep at all last night. Because you have insomnia. Because your body is all sick from anxiety. That's the other thing. When you have anxiety and depression, you have all the, these chronic diseases you don't, nobody cares about. But you have it. You spit up too much phlegm. Oh, I'm smoking too much. Yeah, well, that's anxiety and stress related. All diseases are stress related, you know. So you gotta, you gotta treat yourself like a, a patient too. You're sick. Your body's sick. Your mind is sick. So drink some water. Don't go away. I'm begging you to stay. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm gonna, gonna miss, miss your love. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't go. Oh, really? Why? Because I'm gonna miss your love. <laughs> the minute you, you walked, walked out, out that, that door. door. But I gotta go to work, honey. No, <laughs> I'm gonna miss your love the minute you walk out that door. <laughs> hey everybody okay. hey. won't you consider becoming a patron patron not, no that's not right um, patron yeah i can't even say it <laughs> please become a patron saint and support buju nana buju the podcast about ojibwe language and culture Click the links in the description to our Patreon page. And if you become a $25 a month Buju Crew member, it's an exclusive club. <laughs> it's going to cost you some junia, some no. money. <laughs> no. uh, you'll get a, a cup, a coffee cup. You can put your black medicine water in there. <laughs> Muckaday bush kiki wabu. Muckaday bush kiki. See, you're already learning Ojibwe. <laughs> and you know, what happens? You start creating all this order, and at the end of the day, you found out, hey, you know what? I ate a perfect diet today. I'm not hungry, but I didn't eat any cookies. I didn't have any ranch dressing. I didn't eat anything crappy. I didn't have any beers. I walked, I did the dishes, I did the laundry, I vacuumed the living room. Yeah, I'm still a, a broke loser with no hope and nobody loves me, but I, I, I'm in a really clean house and I took a shower. So now I'm a clean person in a clean house with a nice lawn. And, you know, okay. Well, they're... You started the day as a loser with a messy kitchen and this feeling of, ah, oh, my life sucks and I need to do these things. Well, now you don't need to do that. And it's one more little step closer to the top out, out of the abyss. So I've been out of the abyss for a few weeks now. But the problem is, you know, you get out and then there's, you're like, oh, thank goodness. That was no picnic. I don't mind telling you. I'm feeling much better. Things are moving in the right direction. And oh, uh, I hope we, I never fall into that pit again. But, you know, so you, so you walk around like you're on eggshells because it's like, Every day. Thank you, Creator, for getting me through that. Thank you, Jesus, for being the footsteps in the sand or whatever. Because I'm not in a pit anymore. I'm grateful and happy and carefree again. I mean, yeah, I got cares and a little bit of worries, I guess. But, oh, what? And I wasn't like I was three weeks ago. You feel like you're climbing the roller coaster again. That's what life is like. Oh, we're going up again. Good. I'm leveling up. I'm going to be able to see more. Oh, I'm, now I'm far away from that pit. I'm on the top of the roller coaster. That damn roller coaster. Is it going to go down again in another day or two? I don't want to go down the roller I'm sick of riding the roller coaster. Just let me let the roller coaster stop right at the top. I'm just going to look around. Oh, look, there's the 
Phony baloney globe. <laughs> Bonjour crew members get $25 a month and we'll send you a Makere Mushkiki Wabu cup. A coffee cup <laughs> with our pictures on it. And, uh, or just check out our Patreon page. You don't have to sign up. You can see some of these Lydia, some of these videos. This one's backstage of the show. There's Michael and Nana Bushu. My mouth wide open. This one's called, How's the Historical Trauma Today? <laughs> okay, let's just <laughs> check this out. I'm, I'm getting old enough now not to be embarrassed to admit. Actually, Bowie is the one who made me get over my embarrassment of being such a depressed, whiny little person. And it was it was early on when I when I heard this. I was like fourteen. And I was reading a biography of David Bowie. And they said David Bowie was famous for crying at the drop of a hat. And they asked him why we why he was like that, what the matter was. And he said, Lots of artists cry easily. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Like that. Uh, on the other side of a depression, you still are, the wound is still kind of raw, kind of fresh. You know, it's, it's scabbed over, but you got a scar. touch it it still stings a little but it's healing fast that's what it's like for me these days when I talk about it I don't know that mentioning bully will will touch a nerve <laughs> it's funny 